Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. And I'm here bringing you the good, sweet words of Jesus. So, I stumbled across this scripture that came to mind. And so I had to look and rifle through my Bible and find it because I would love to read it to you guys. So, I was undergoing some difficult, I guess you could say, changes to my new lifestyle that God has born me into because listen close when you're a new person when you're born again in Christ Jesus that means that you take on different personality you take on different uh, delights and pleasures you become totally opposite in nature to who you once were so that's basically what I'm trying to get down to today is you have to be different but the question is how do you maintain the difference how do you maintain being different in the new way that Christ has changed your mind so I'm gonna give it to you so if you turn to the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse I'm gonna read 28 to 30 and here I go but I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out, cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast in hell. Okay, so this like example, or should I say this analogy that Jesus is saying about plucking the eye out, cutting the hand off, it's interesting because I'm reading the King James Version, but if you read in the Amplified Version of the Bible, it speaks of cutting your hand and plucking your eye off is removing yourself away from the source of the things that are bad, that are tempting to you. Such as if you have a social media addiction to where you will find yourself stuck on social media, scrolling through all the feed that the algorithm is giving you, same with like YouTube and all them. And you can catch yourself stuck in hours and hours of time just invested and there's no progress in your life. You're not learning nothing from it. All you're doing is watching videos that are just to make you laugh or that's just something interesting and soothing to the eye or to yourself. To get away from that would be don't go on the social media and don't go on the internet. Fast from it. Fasting meaning take some time away from that. Collect yourself and start delving yourself into the scripture of God. Because I find out when you start reading the word of God more and more, it cleanses you. So you're, you're also probably kind of wondering why would I mention verse 28 when it says, when it talks about whoever looks upon a woman, like if a man looks upon a woman and says, oh man, I can't wait to take the bed, do this, this, and that in his own head, even though he never does it, he's committed to sin because before sin becomes a sin, it has to be a thought. Before you apply sin, it's a thought. So if you're thinking this, that's what God's saying. You need to get your thoughts, you need to take them captive and give them to the Lord by saying, all right, this isn't good what I was thinking about. God, forgive me. And if these thoughts try to come to my head again, God, I surrender and I give them to you so I don't think like this anymore. But I think in a new way of caring for people and looking at them as I would want myself to be looked at, you know. And so that's, that's I mentioned that one because that was one of the examples. But for me... One of my examples, or should I say, one of the things that I suffered with was uh, video games. And video games has been one that has been in my life for years. And I've wasted so much time, invested so much money into all these consoles and video games and updates, all this stuff. And it didn't, I didn't gain anything from it. I was escaping reality, not living life. And what I did was, even though outside of that, I did quit video games. I did. I stopped buying the consoles. I stopped buying the video games. I broke them. I sold them. Whatever. I got rid of them entirely. But what's happening is the temptation of the when I, when I'm on YouTube looking up videos that are actually valuable and help me to progress and become a better human being, such as delving into scripture or finding good gospel music. 
you know, it has this algorithm of always popping things up. So what popped up was a new video game came out that was actually an old video game I used to play, but it's a remake of the old one that I like. And so like, it was kind of tempting me to go back to do the evil stuff, to want to buy these video games and play them again, which was a horrible thing. And so the, my way of getting away from it would be to not watch the video, not to not click on the video and not to be baited by it. Stay away from completely. Like if you have a drinking problem, don't drink alcohol. Don't go to the bar with your buddies. Don't have a swig at night. Like just entirely get away from it. Get yourself out of the source of temptation so you can't say, oh man, you know, Will was there and I slipped up. God, you know I'm fallible. You know I'm weak. And God's like, I know you. I know that you're weak. But in me, you're strong if you trust in me. So get rid of it. God's saying, die to the old way and be born to the new way. Start start having new habits. I'm noticing like with me, with the whole video game situation, I had to start to replace it by reading the Bible instead of playing a video game, watching a, a sermon instead of playing a video game, listening to gospel music instead of playing a video game, or exercising instead of playing a video game, like really replacing it with something else that is good and beneficial for me. And that's what you guys have to do. So not only do you have to get yourself out of the source of temptation, but you also have to put in the goodness of God to keep yourself sustained. Because if you don't say you get rid of the stuff that's bad for you, that are that's addictions that are bad for you and that cause you to sin, but you never fill yourself up with the good things, which is of God, you're going to find yourself drawing back to the old things and filling yourself up even more with the old stuff. I'll give you one last example. One time, my dad, he made me mad because he told me all I did back then was play video games. And he made it such a big deal. He's like, son, all you do is play these, these stupid games and you're not learning anything and you're not benefiting yourself. And I got so upset with him that I took all my games and I smashed them with a sledgehammer outside. I just brutally just crushed them. And what happened was he told me, he, he went before me, saw me that I smashed all this stuff and told me, son, if you don't fill yourself up with good things and you just get mad and break all this, you're going to get all this stuff back. And sure enough, he was right. Within half a year, I had all the video games I broke and even more to fill myself up with because I wasn't seeking truth. I wasn't seeking to mature and be beyond the carnal limits, the, the, the five sense limits. And so I love you guys. And that's what we need to do. So remove yourself from the source of temptation and fill yourself up with God and enjoy it. Pray, read your word, and, and really ask God what he wants you to do. You know, come into an intimate relationship with him and you'll find out it's not a religious thing. It's, it's a thing that's really fun to do with God that's beneficial not only for you, but for everybody else around you. I love you guys. You know, thank you for listening. And as always, God bless you and continue to fight the good fight.